I'm terrible at making New Year resolutions, but a lot of persons make New Year resolution, and most of them, a lot of them, um, follow true. But the others that don't, why don't they? And how important is it for us to follow through with goal setting when we have a new year like this? Um, we'll be having a conversation uh, with uh, Mr. Fikua Yomi Aluko, Innovation Technology Consultant and Growth Catalyst. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Happy, Happy New, New Year. year. <laughs> I guess I'll be saying that to you all. All right, we'll, we'll take this report, and when we come back, we'll get into the conversation. Do stay with us. A year ago, Nigerians were enthusiastic about the start of a new decade and a new year, 2020. But the coronavirus pandemic crushed the hopes and halted the plans of millions of people worldwide. As a new year beckons, Nigerians reflect on the past year with a mixed bag of feelings about the culture of making New Year resolutions. New Year resolutions are important. Whether you follow them through is another thing. But very important is that we just have to plan. So many people follow it through, people that are consistent. You know, it's not everybody that can manage to be consistent all through the year and beyond. Discipline consistency is very important, but does it have to come in the New Year? Like, we've all, we've all, we've all, in everything we are doing, we usually do need that um, consistency and discipline in everything we are doing. So, do you, being a new year, fine, it's a new year, but I think it should be an habit even before a new year. Performance coach Abiola Salami argues that the bone of contention is not in making resolutions, but in resolving to make them work. The thing with New Year resolution is that a lot of people pay lip service to it. And if you really want to change, if you really want a transformation, right, um, it's about really scheduling that change that you want. Um, experts will tell us about goal setting, um, simple, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. What we should do is do the work, not just uh, resolution, set measurable goals and commit to achieving those goals of renewing yourself. A cross-session of Nigerians agree with him. Prior to this time, I only make um, resolutions because I feel like when it comes to discipline, I wasn't so disciplined enough. So I didn't want to be frustrated at the end of the year when I look back and see that, OK, I haven't done or achieved anything yet. Well, for the coming year, and because I'm getting older and I've experienced more in life, I just feel that there's a need to make plans and then keep to your goals. So people can say, OK, this year I want to stop um, having bad friends, I want to stop smoking, I want to stop doing this. At the end of the day, they find yourself still doing the same thing. So I don't feel as in there's any need. Just if you know you have a goal, then follow that goal. For me, I don't have new resolutions. I just sit down, write down things and I plan on doing next year. So I'll say that is like a goal for me. New Year resolutions are actually important if you actually, um, you are disciplined enough to keep to it. Like, so because most people tend to make New Year resolutions and after the first one month or two months, they don't keep to it. So I feel if you're not ready to keep to that um, New Year the resolution that you actually um, planned out, that there's no need for you to have it because you have to keep through it until the end of the year. Here's what's in the mind of some Nigerian youth to achieve in the new year. More money, we want to make more money. Before now, I wasn't really a business person, but I'm thinking of business this coming year and also self-development. Next year, I would want to focus more on my business. I sell perfumes, so I would want to expand because I like to try out new things when it comes to fragrances. So I would want to expand more, try out new things and see how it um, works out. Then, of course, um, add weight. My new resolution is to be more consistent in anything I'm doing. Many lost loved ones and opportunities in 2020. But the advice here is that for 2021, hope must be kept alive. Aneta Felix, Plus TV Africa. <laughs> Thank you, Aneta, for that report. Amazing. Somebody wants to gain weight in an era where people are looking to lose more weight. Uh, I mean, different um, strokes for different folks. You, you, I mean, past, uh, you saw that uh, I was going to refer to you as a pastor. I know you are not, Mr. Aluko. Um, I, I want your reaction to the content of that report. Let's start from there. So I, I think I think the opinion just represents people's perspective and experience over the past years around the New Year resolution. And you can see people actually showing different factors why we think new resolution, new resolution will not work. And it's true. 
You know, people talk about discipline, people talk about, oh, you don't even have to bother having it or trying to do it because it won't work eventually. So, but to me, I think new revolution is more about decisions, you know, and making decision is one thing. Now, managing decision and working through your decisions so that you can have the desired result is a total ball game entirely. And I think that's where that's where the, that's where the problem is. It's a challenge. And to be honest, to be able to take a new year resolution to to actualization, there are, there are multiple factors. It's not just one thing. There are all things that really comes together that influence people's results after they have decided this is how they want to live their life in the new year. So it's okay. a new decision. So decisions are like vehicles. They transport you to your new destination. Yeah. So the, the, one of the know, things that came that out, thing. one of the things that came out of that report was the ability to make um, measurable goals. Um, how can people actually make? Sometimes you you have very laudable ideas, like you said, pulling through is the problem. How can people make goals that are achievable? We know for sure that one of gaining weight wouldn't be much of a problem, but <laughs> when you talk about others, I mean, well, how would you suggest people go about it? So, so I think that I think the, the, the first challenge is not the goal. I think is uh, the focus, and I'm going to come to that. Which what I'm saying is that people like this this last year, it was a destructive year for everybody because there was different unexpected unexpected results on actions uh, due to COVID and other things. So the most important thing is focusing on growth because sometimes goal that people set, they can't really measure. But when it comes to growth, you can measure growth because you are in charge, you have control. And that's why when you are setting up your goal, you need to create metrics. So there has to be a metrics. So you can't say, I just want to lose weight. That, that goal in itself will fail because how much, how, 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 how many, how, how much do you want to lose and when? And how are you going to pace yourself and break that down? And how are you going to bring in accountability partners and put structures around that goal that is now specific, that you can measure now to be able to achieve your results? So I think the first thing is that we have to think about growth first, not just goal. Because in growth, you have control. So you can introduce those metrics. And beyond introducing those metrics, you can measure those metrics and build structures that will sustain that, that, that your growth goal so that you can get to where you want to go. Like I said, it's like you are making decisions, actually. Forget about all the labels. It's about decisions. And you, the decision is like a vehicle transporting you to your new destination. So you need metrics, and you'll be able to break those metrics, those, those metrics down over a period of time, and you can measure them. So if, if, if there's a goal in the next six months to lose a particular uh, you know, amount of weight, you know, you know, private, particular pants, you want to lose this. Now you can break that, that down into, into weeks, into months, because there's a metrics. Then you can build a accountability partner around yourself that will help you. They will hold your hand. They will hold you. They will make, make you responsible. And because you 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 have respect, you have ego. You know, you don't want to lose face. So you are going to do what you need to do, even when you are not feeling like that. And that's why the other discussion makes sense. That talk about discipline. Because when it comes to discipline, it's not what you feel. It's what you do. It has nothing to do with feeling. It's more of decision and people holding you up. And the last thing is that structure. You need a structure. You know, you want to build a house. You need the resources to, to build the house. So you, you have decided to make a decision. How are you going to manage this decision? So you need to be deliberate about creating those structures to be able to have a, a, a decision, or we call it a new resolution, or a goal, or a growth goal that really achieves the kind of results you want and create that new experience. All right. From, from that report, there seemed to be one of the ladies there said she didn't used to make a New Year resolutions, but this year she's getting older and she thought it was it would be nice to make um, a resolution. My question is, do you think that there is a change in attitude towards New Year resolution? And why is it important for there to be resolutions at the beginning of the year? So I think I think I think it's in the opposite direction because many people have been frustrated. So I think that that lady is one out of many. Many people with that are thinking like there's no point because used to history of frustration of you set goal and at the end of the day you can't achieve those goals. And this is how it works. If you set a goal and you can't achieve those goals, it discourages you from trying next time. But if you set a goal and you achieve that those particular goals, they inspire you to want to do more next time. So you know there's a point to it. And it is very, very important. You know, the, the new year offers a psychological solace of a, like you were pressing the reset button. So we give a great opportunity for us to think that this time we have hope. 
and we can try something new again. And that's the benefit of time. Ideally, they are just days. Imagine they have decided years ago that a year is going to be 500 days. So people are going to actually wait for 500 days before they can have another set new, new hopes. So the, the, the benefit, the psychological solace that New Year's offers is that ability to say, OK, this is an opportunity to press a refresh button. And it comes with emotion, celebration, changing a lot of things. And you can ride that wave intentionally. Because truly, it's, it's still about days. You know, yesterday was last year. Today is it's, it's a new year. But truly, because of that psychological uh, solace and opportunity, the celebration, the atmosphere, the change in day, the celebration, you can ride that way to intentionally create a new growth goals, a new growth goals that will really help you move in the direction of how you want to go, the new experiences yeah. and who you want to become. And I like to stress this here that... Uh, Sometimes the first thing you need to focus on who you want to become, because we are human beings, not human beings and human habit. So most of you said go, like you said, I want to start a new business. And I was thinking about that lady in that, in that, in that report that, do you have the skill set? Who are you? Do you have the skill set? Do you have the character? Do you have, the, do you have that? Have you become that individual? Because the you that, in, that have the interest of setting goal, it's not that you that is going to achieve those goals. You have to change. So it has to come about that. I focus on growth, becoming first then you can now move to having and doing. And New Year give you the opportunity to say, who do I want to become? And what are the new experiences I really want to develop in this right. new year? All right, Mr. Luko. Um, I, 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 before we um, end this conversation, I'd like to know what your New Year resolutions are. All if right. you don't mind so sharing with us, me, Yeah, they put me on the spot. <laughs> for me, I think, like I said, it has to be, for me, I think, like I said, it has to be internal first. They are, they are intangibles first before tangible. So for me, one thing I really want to do is to move from hustling, as we call it in Nigeria, or, act, or endless activity, just to have an end to striving, to look intangible. So and that, how that applies to me is that what are the things that I really want to do in my life? Because the time is that tomorrow is not promised. So that's one of my real life. I have to think through, I'm thinking through now and saying, what are those things I really want to do in the community? I want to move from just doing different things to being purposeful, if I can use that word, and to say, this is the right time. Forget about the resources, forget about the pandemic, because there will only be something after pandemics. There won't be perfect stage to do what you want to do. And the second thing that time is build community. I think community and collaboration is a new capital. They are the new leverage. So I, can, I right. think that, that's enough. All right, Mr. Fikwayomi Aluko, Innovation Technology Consultant and Growth Catalyst. Thank you very much for sharing your time with us. Thank you for having me. Happy New Year one more time. I too have a resolution, by the way. I think my resolution will just basically be to be happier. My money is good, but be happier. I mean, do things that I love to do. That's just about it. Whatever comes comes at the end of the day. All right, we'll go on a short break. When we come back, we'll be talking Nigeria's 2021 appropriation bill that has been signed into law by President Muhammad Buhari after this.